Okay, I'm finally taking the time to do this, but we are finally gonna go ahead and evolve Vegeta. I've had the kills for a couple days now, I just haven't recorded yet. I'm a little overkill. 30,000 kills, only need 7,500. I also have all the evolution items, which is the alien scouters. And if you don't know how to get these, just go ahead and go to arenas in the bottom, go to raids. And all you gotta do is just run the brand new raid, West City Frieza's invasion, work your way through all of these and just continue to grind these if you wanna do it fast. These do give way more though but you can only do three a day but let's see what item do i even need to use to evolve vegeta i actually don't know and we need okay we need the super capsule so let's go ahead and buy that there we go and now it is time to evolve the unit I have all the items for it all the stars we're gonna gain 25 percent attack and final flash on this unit turns into super two so there we go fully evolve vegeta we also get a perfect stack cube and three normal stack cubes for that and look at that pretty good unit also next to the golden frieza they look very good together but i'm guessing let's go see what the damage is so the unit by default has 7,000 damage so a pretty high placement that puts it up there pretty high as you can see it's right here it's basically in the top like two rows of my units with uniques so this is definitely one of the highest placement damages in the game but let's see what stats that i get i got a minus b plus a plus not bad i evolved them with all b stats i honestly wasn't trying to get a really good vegeta so let's go ahead and go into the infinite and let's see how strong this unit is i actually don't know how strong it is but i'm glad we finally got it done took the time to do it i'm gonna be i'm gonna be comparing it to gold of frieza because it's the exact same evolution has a little bit more range and a bigger AoE circle, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and place it down, and let's take a look at the first attack. Pretty cool. I like that. Pretty good sound to it, too. Listen to that. Oh, that is awesome. Well, let me go ahead and get all money up real quick, so that way I can afford to upgrade these units a whole bunch. And there we go. So it's all maxed out now, so let's go ahead and start upgrading the unit. Also, for one last note, yes, I do have calling on this unit. I did one re-roll when I got the unit originally. I got calling and just kept it, because I was mainly rolling on Frieza. But let's go ahead and start doing the upgrade. So the first upgrade is 14.5 thousand damage. Cooldown goes down to 6.3 then 24.9 range so there we go upgrade after that is 23.2 thousand damage pretty big upgrade same cooldown and 1.1 more range so a little bit more range not bad then after that we have 31.9 thousand damage pretty good 5.8 cooldown and a 27 range so the cooldown is going down again which is really really nice but let's keep going new upgrade is a new attack damage goes up to 43.5 thousand cooldown also goes up to 8.2 and we gain three range we gain quite a bit of range cooldown goes up sadly but we do get a new attack so let's see what that is so it goes from a circle aoe to a cone aoe and oh that's a cool attack too bad it, it takes eight seconds to activate but look at that that is a pretty cool attack it's also a cone aoe so that one's pretty useful i do feel like that should be a line aoe because well it's a basically a giant line but a cone aoe is better and it's also multi hit as you can see it killed the one that spawned in later so that is excellent this is a good attack has two hits on it overall not too bad okay let's go ahead and keep going on the upgrades next upgrade is a 60.9 a thousand damage 8.2 cooldown down and 31.4 range so there we go then 79.8 thousand damage 8.2 cooldown and 32.5 range so there we go again then the next upgrade goes up to 108 thousand that is a lot of extra damage same cooldown and 33.5 range then here we go final flash the new attack on it 129 thousand damage cooldown goes back down to 7.7 .7, so that's nice and we gain 1.1 more range so let's go ahead and do the upgrade so we go from a cone aoe to a, another cone aoe oh that's cool okay so now we have the base of the exact same attack but it's now yellow and the secondary attack that is pretty cool how many hits is that let's see so the beam itself is a multi-hit that it does another hit on the secondary attack that is kind of cool so it has two separate hits and then a third one on the secondary attack that is a pretty cool i like that attack that's a good one good cone aoe but let's keep going next upgrade 154.8 thousand damage same cooldown 35.7 range not too bad and then that is the maximum stats on our vegeta now two things keep in mind this is a raid unit and most of the raid units aren't that good except for like one each update is really good and this update just so happens to be frieza that and also i have a pretty mid one only around like a rank on the average stats and then i also have calling on it so basically has no damage increase so it's, it's basically straightless 
But let's see, what is the DPS on this unit? Not bad, 20.1 thousand DPS on this unit. So pretty good DPS. My Frieza does have 31,000 with Reaper. So basically superior three. What, how many placements can we have? We have three placements. So it's basically a weaker goal with Frieza if you want to compare it to that. But overall, not too bad. 20,000 DPS, three placements and a multi-hit. Not too bad. Also, not that expensive to upgrade either. Only around 72,000, which is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the meta units like Frieza being like 100,000 plus to upgrade. So overall, pretty cheap, pretty good damage. Definitely better than a lot of units. All right, let's see. Can it hit air? Okay, let's see real quick. It can hit air. Ooh, that's pretty good. That makes it even better. So you do have a cone AoE hybrid and it's airs. That is actually very good. I wonder, does it airs right away? It does not hit airs right away. What about on the first cone aoe it does not so it only hits cut so it only hits air units on the next to last upgrade so i wouldn't bring this as your air damage you can bring it as backup air damage so if you're using just new units you can place down gold and frieza and then use vegeta but honestly just use gold and frieza his damage is overall better but overall this unit is pretty good nice cone aoe nice range on a 35 range and pretty good dps let's go ahead and see what the damage is though with all of the boosts 170,000 damage with that boost which means that it does have 22.1 thousand dps so a pretty big dps increase what about with erwin because it is a physical unit you will be able to use erwin to buff it using dedicate your hearts by 25 percent which would make the damage 212,000 so not too bad that'd be 27.6 thousand dps with a full boost that's pretty good now the real question is should you take the time to evolve this unit now if you do have golden frieza and vegeta i would say just evolve golden frieza golden frieza has overall way more damage i think farther range and just overall it's just better for just damage now if you only have this unit i definitely recommend evolving it it's much better than a lot of units in this game unless you're using meta units already i would evolve it is definitely worth it the only downside is that the raid is actually quite hard to defeat if you don't already have at least decent mythicals but you can just go ahead and try to buy all the items that increase damage and it'll basically make all your units unique i personally don't have to do that because i already have two uniques i could use but if you have mid-level units and a bit of extra free time you can go ahead and buy all those extra damage increases to make the rounds much easier especially that act six you need quite a bit of damage for that and speaking of which if you don't have people to run with you can also try joining the game's discord which you can find right here you can join the game's discord but there's always people running those rounds you can join their vip servers and run with other people which will make it easier to evolve this unit especially if you're newer to the game but yeah if you do manage to get this unit definitely worth the evolution if you don't already have a really amazing unit on your team because it does have 20,000 dps which is pretty good also, sorry it took me so long to evolve. I've been mainly just focusing on grinding gems and playing other games too. So I didn't really take the time till recently to actually evolve the unit. But yeah, overall, very good unit. I'm glad I got it evolved. And just to say, compared to like most of the raid units, this unit is very good. The only two that I think are better for like practical use would be Golden Frieza or Itachi. I say practical because Aaron Founder exists.